How are you guys doing? I was good. I have to have these notes. I was going to memorize it all. But seriously, how much did you pay to get in here? <laughs> now that the pleasantries are over, I gotta tell you, I hate birthdays. Stop it, okay? No more birthdays. That's it. You guys are going crazy with this nonsense. If you are over 18, can legally vote, can get into a bar, can grow hair on your peepee, -pee, then you shouldn't give a damn about your birthday anymore. That's it. And why do we even measure our lives in years? Why, why, don't, why don't we measure it in accomplishments, goals that we've met? That's what I do. I measure my life in goals that I've accomplished. And that's why I'm only 12. <laughs> But we don't do that. Instead, from the high chair, from the high chair, we start indoctrinating this birthday bullshit. The kid is a fucking bastard toddler, year old, doesn't even know what the hell's going on. He can't rip the gifts open efficiently. He doesn't know what to do with the cake. He just grabs it, stuffs it in his face, mix it with snot and puke. Nothing says living in America like a fat baby with Pukey cake on its face. You go to the Syria or the Sudan, the little kids there are eating maggots off their parents' corpses. Oh, that felt so good. And, and vultures are looking at them. But here in America, you got pukey, snotty cake all over a little fat kid. That says America. More than an eagle does, anyway. Uh, it's bad enough though, with these birthdays, that you have to celebrate it with your fucking loved ones. <laughs> but what really sucks is when they do it at work. They should get OSHA and the labor unions and the Department of Labor all together and make it illegal to celebrate birthdays in the workplace. No more. I mean, We've all been there, <laughs> sitting at our cubicle or our desk, doing the same tedious bullshit we're forced to do so we can eat and live. <laughs> and then somebody comes up, hi, we need you in the conference room. <laughs> oh shit. So you go in there, happy birthday, surprise, happy birthday to you. And all you can do, your neck starts to sweat, you have that awkward smile. Make a wish. I wish for a suicide bomber right now. <sighs> oh. I, I know. One of the things I cannot stand, the main thing I cannot stand, is birthday cake. Now, I know some of you do-gooders out there are going to think, you're not going to rip on birthday cake, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> Because birthday cake plays host to the most idiotic, hygienically retarded custom in the Western world, blowing out the candles. When you blow on a piece of food that everybody's going to ingest, that's covered with icing so it catches all the germs like flypaper, and the spongy guts grabs all the infection, it's ridiculous. You know, they did a study, and they found out that there's more germs and disease and bile in a slice of birthday cake than there is in the human rectum. It's science. I have nothing to do with it. So basically, sticking a candle up your ass is more sanitary than doing it to a piece of cake. Well, the other thing is we don't know where these people have been that you work with. You know, it's Typhoid Mary's birthday. And to celebrate it, she gave some homeless junkie a rim job in the alley. 
Now she comes in, happy birthday, and she blows all kinds of spit and bad breath and viruses and bacteria, strep throat, canker sores, gum disease, hepatitis, cholera, diphtheria, and all kinds of little food items that are burrowing in her rotting teeth. And then they slice a piece off and say, here, Cliff. You want some cake? <laughs> Fuck no. You're trying to get everybody sick? That's bioterrorism. <laughs> it's not a cake anymore. It's not a cake anymore. It's a chocolate covered tonsil stone. I'm not going anywhere near it. Anyway, thank you. That was my time. <laughs>